ladies and gentlemen, Echo Hot Blog is reporting live from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, New Bodija, Ibadan, Oyo State, for the service of song of Mr. Samuel Adelaja Adebowale. Mr. Samuel Adelaja Adebowale is a man of integrity, a man of wisdom, and a man of solid leadership. And this can be seen in his work as a quantity surveyor. He's also a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of the Quantity Surveyor. And that's not all, he's also a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And that definitely speaks volume and shows us a man full of integrity in relation with people around him, his family and community. Today we're here to give our respect to Mr. Samuel Adelaja Adibowale, broadcasting live from Ibadan. Stick around for more cogent moments on this amazing event. I am Ono Tunde Debra, reporting live from Echo Art Blog. On the tranquil evening of August 15th, 2024, the Redeemed Christian Church of God in New Bodija Ibadan, or your state, became a sanctuary of solace and remembrance. People from far and near gathered to honor the life of a man whose impact was felt deeply by all that knew him. Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adepowale, at 73, had embarked on his final journey, leaving behind a legacy that touched countless arts. As the sun dipped below the horizon, a gentle breeze carried the sound of hymns and prayers through the air. Waving an atmosphere of sacred reflection, the melodies resonated with the weight of sorrow and hope of fate. As those present joined the worship, their voices rising in an harmonious chorus. The service began with an outpouring of songs, a symphony that bridged the gap between heaven and earth, mingling praise with the grief of loss. solemn gathering, memories of Pastor Samuel came back to life. His family, friends, and church members spoke of a man whose unwavering faith, immunity, and dedication to service were the cornerstone of his life. Each story, shared with reverence and love, painted a man who had touched the life of many, leaving an indemnable mark in the hearts of those 
he encountered.
Uh, he encouraged me to complete my course and to be a very, very great to me. In fact, to be, we are not, I'm not, we are not afraid to the family. We are part of the family. We are so rest in family. Amen. We need praise, Lord.
for abuse of what you say, thank you. If you can take just the family for what we share together, I pray that all of the family are come to the family in Jesus' name. Praise The service was not merely a farewell, but a celebration of a life well lived. Pastor Femi Okpatumbi and his words echoed through the church, reminding everyone of the profound importance of living a life that leaves a lasting impact. He spoke of his love for God, faith and his selflessness being the quality that Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adibowali embodied in every spare and aspect of his life. I go the way of all the earth. Be God strong, therefore, and shoot thyself a man, but say, And keep the child of the Lord thy God to walk in his way to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgment and his testimony. As it is written in the law of Moses, Thou that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. And when thou so ever thou pray this. We are considering a topic of this wonderful program that says great warrior is God. Great warrior is God. There is not a good as to leave a good legacy behind by the pattern from this hopeless world. Yeah. 
As the service drew to a close, prayers were offered for Pastor Samuel's family, wrapping them in a blanket of comfort and support during the time of grief. Them in the name of Jesus. The Bible said they look unto thee and their faces were like me. And they were never ashamed. You will never know shame in Jesus' name. You will never see shame in Jesus' name. The Lord will surround you with his favor like the shield in the name of Jesus. The good words of your fathers, of your husband, will answer for you in Jesus' name. I pray, I pray, I pray for you. It shall be well with you. Your going out shall be well. Shall be blessed. Your coming back shall be with testimony and miracle in Jesus' name. I pray, I pray, you will fulfill destiny. You will all fulfill your days in Jesus' name. The power of hell shall be able to cut your life short in Jesus' name. I pray for mommy, you will not weep over this son in Jesus' name. You will never know pain over there in Jesus' name. You will never know sorrow over there in Jesus' name. Which I give you joy, which I give you gladness. And I pray for every one of us, oh Lord, and in that glorious soul, that none of us shall be found wanting in Jesus' name. The rest of the program is to take control and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because it is done. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let's say amen louder. Fun Lola Femi Ijilade, the first child of the deceased, stood before the congregation, a voice filled with emotions as she expressed the family deep gratitude. She thanked everyone for their presence, their love, and the kind words spoken in honor of her father. I want to thank everyone that all the time to come here. God bless you. Um, we know that it means a lot to everyone um, in church, at work, in his career, even people that met him randomly. Um, it was a good soul. I want to thank the family members that came all the way from the Jericho Day, all the way from Lagos, and all the way from uh, the United Kingdom. Thank everyone, um, family and friends for all the For joining us here at home for Jesus. For sharing what I do with you. The evening ended with a sense of peace and unity, a collective acknowledgement of a life well spent, a life of purpose and love. Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adipawali's memory would live on not only in the hearts of those who were touched, but his legacy of faith, service he left behind. Uh, my name is Timmy Adipawali, I'm Mayo's uh, brother. We have the same mother. We grew up together very close. Even, you know, even when we had our own families, we were so close. By the grace of God and uh, my brother's love, I was able to travel to Oxford to study. I didn't have a college scholarship. I didn't have a government scholarship. I had my brother's scholarship. That's the type of a person he was. I, I'm finding even difficult to say he was. He is. <laughs> I think he was generous to a fault. That, that, that's the only fault I believe he had. Uh, this is a man who, if you needed uh, one Naira, and he judged that uh, you needed it more than he did, he would give you the Naira and he would go without. That's the type of a person he was. Uh, I think some people might find that a bit odd, but that was he. That, that was that was male. My name is Oye Dr. Kilanko. I am a son-in-law to the late Mayor Adebowale. Pastor Mayor Sam Adebowale, Adebowale was a man of 
many skills. He was a man with a big heart. He was known to everyone as someone that was very accommodating. He couldn't hurt a fly. He was very kind. He was very accommodating. A lot of people actually lived with him and it wasn't any form of inconvenience to him. He mentored a lot of people. He saw a lot of people through education. He lived a life that was worthy of example. Um, in his words, he's fought a good fight and has gone to the Almighty to rest now. And I'll say may his soul continue to rest in eternal peace. My name is Feromi Kendi. Um, I'm not sure. I'm married to Pastor Dibowadi's daughter, Odubusoda. Okay, so so imagine someone every time he sees you, calls you Feromi Tikpatikpa. Pharaoh me toko toko. I mean, so that's the kind of relationship we have. Daddy is a sweet soul. He's someone I, 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 I really enjoy being in the company of. He's, he's, he's a very good person. He has a good heart. And that was reflective in his interactions with us. I mean, and he regarded me, took me in as a son. And I would forever be grateful for that. And that's definitely also impacted in how I see and relate to the family. Because when the father, when the patriarch of the family takes you in the way he did, then it's actually, it, 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 it touches you in a very, very good way. And that's actually the impact that daddy had in my life. And I'm actually very grateful for, for that. Daddy has died, but for her, for me, it's actually more of a celebration. The man lived a good life, so we're actually celebrating his good virtues. He was loving, he was gentle, he was sweet to everyone. I mean, he was very open. He was, he, he was just very, he interacted with everybody. He, he didn't discriminate, you know. He calls my son, he calls him, you know, Gladi, you know, so he has a nickname for everybody. He, there's always something fun about things when you're with him. And that's actually something to emulate. That's, that's something I probably want to imbibe, you know, going forward, you know, because when you have that kind of soul, when you have that kind of spirit, I mean, it, it probably just makes everything work out well. I mean, because so you don't hold, you don't hold grievances, you don't hold anything to heart. You're just very open about, you know, about life. And that's actually very impressive for me. And that's something I'm actually looking to imbibe. He's a mentor. Ah, Odumigon. Tolipe. See, it's a robot de banyo. Oh, my duro tea. I do a mix of pay. Eleni. Conic padaleni, city and mafi. Wow, okay. Then mafi, all right. Lenny, oh, no, ya came on. Illoibo. Tolipa, I think, call it. Timor, by Lenny, she made a lot of five burundo ibo. When he a blue interview, and busy. But she pabu, a lot of conny. Then he came about. Se bi kan na ni wa bi se lo ni e ti mo lo tori mo tin lo ra ja ton gba oja mi en ni airport so to ko wa tin kokan awon mo de wa nle awon mo ku mewa awon mo temi marun awon mo ku yen o ko meji e to mo du meta o mu kan e keji e kan odun mefa kan du meta o ran won de university eyin o dada ni o eyin o dada ko den fe se eyan te ba ko nbinu my name is Antonia Lucas. I'm from Oyo Province too. Uh, he's one of our pastor here in Oyo too before he was transferred. It was, he was a wonderful person, a lovely father. He's a man that talks about heaven, that talks about the word of God, and the legacy that he has laid behind, that the first step that all of us have to follow as a man of God. The family the man has laid behind, the Lord will console them, he will help them to be in the same line that their father passed through in Jesus' name. Paul Sandio Gremi, a younger brother to Pastor Patrick Olufemi Balogun. Yeah, I happen to be um, one of uh, the younger brothers of his, I can say uh, uh, one of his closest friends, Pastor pa uh, Patrick Olufemi Balogun. Pa Samuel uh, Adebowale was a great man. I could remember in the course of uh, the construction of my brother's uh, edifice at uh, Akubo, or your state housing corporation as at Akubo. Anytime he visited us, he would always pray for me. 
I really miss uh, Baba Adebo Ali. I pray that uh, uh, the heavenly host of uh, heaven we are set him into his, uh, to the godly abode we and make his soul rest in a perfect peace. I really miss him. I really miss him. My name is uh, Prophet Tomoto Sho, Olawale JP. I'm one of the prayer warriors in their family. We used to pray together. We used to eat together. We do everything together in Adebo Wale family. It's a good family so far. It's a wonderful family. They are all good to me. Both daddy and mommy and all the children. Papa Samuel Adebo Wale is a very gentleman. He's a real Christian. An elderly person to the core. Very humble. He usually humble himself. He's a giver. He's a very nice man. Indeed. I will remember him for everything in life. Everything good. Baba will always be remembered. It's a kind of man that you will not forget in your life. Uh, my name is Modupe Adeyemi Odulaja. Uh, uncle Mayor is my uncle. He's a junior brother to my mom. Uh, he's a very, very humble man, very generous, um, and a very patient man as well. I lived with him for some time. And in all those years, I didn't, I can say, uh, that I didn't see him get upset on the particular day. You know, like we guys do, young guys, uh, but you will always be calm. Instead of uh, him getting upset with us, he will give us solid advice and he's, uh, he has left a lot of influence in our, on our lives. Um, I can say he's part of, he's a man, he's one of the people that mold me, do you understand? Um, because if not for the time, for the fact that I intervened at a certain point of my, in time in my life, uh, obviously I won't be where I am today. At the time that I was struggling to be someone in life, uh, I ran to him, you know, like, just leave your parents' place. I went to his house, I said, Uncle, here I am. Can I live with you? He said, why not? I'll just tell my sister. And that way I actually traveled from. I'm Pastor Anima Shang, one of the Baba training pastors. When Baba was alive, he was here, guys. He trained us in this pastoral work. I like Elijah and Elisha. Uh, pastoral relationship and father to sons in the Lord relationship. The disease is a man of God to the call. Very faithful, humble, honorable, and love God to death. And for this, he left a legacy of how to serve God with us. I remember him for his love for God, for his love for God, and his smiles always. One thing I remember him for is whenever he comes to the things of God, he never tired. That's an encouragement for us that are coming behind him. He never tired. When he, when he was still alive, he would say, yes, if it's God, it's for God. I am ordained national elder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Femi Balogun by name. He gave his life all throughout to serve humanity and to serve God. From the beginning, he has always been a beautiful, he had a beautiful career, brilliant career. And then he finished as one of the best uh, um, surveyors Nigeria produced, the first generation of those who, and he started his Shepherd Associates as a surveyor of repute and note. And he trained so many of the people you find there. Hence the testimony of the state um, surveyors and the national surveyors office. Wonderful guy. In terms of his service in the church, Second to none, he was uh, a, a composite, dedicated, resilient helper of men and women of God. We were doing things together, building churches together, in more than five locations. That's what he was. He spent his time for people, for his family, nuclear, extended, and the church of God, and God and humanity. So what do a call blog is reporting live from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, New Bodhijah Ibadan, or your state, for the funeral service and internment of a remarkable man who has had an indelible impact in the life of many. Today, we are gathered to give our last respect to Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adebowale. Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adebowale is a man of solid leadership, is a man of respect, integrity, is also a pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Mr. Samuel Adelaja is also a quantity surveyor and a fellow in the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyor. Broadcasting live from Ibadan, stick around for more cogent moments from these amazing events. I am on Notunde Deborah reporting for Echo Odd Blog.
In a ceremony steeped in both solemnity and reverence, the community gathered to pay their final respect to Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adebowale, a man whose life has become a chapter in the living history of his people. This was not merely a farewell, but a commemoration of a life that would echo through the annals of time, a legacy craved from fate, service and unyielding dedication to his calling. The day began with a spirit of praise, worship, much like those who had to fill the sanctuary of the faithful for centuries. Age old and timeless resonated through the air as the congregation assembled to honor a life that had touched so many. The solemn procession, carrying Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adebowale's remains, moved with a dignity befitting a man of a stature, accompanied by his deep, resonating tone of the organ, a sound that deemed a bridge to the earthly and the divine. service commenced, the sacred scriptures were read, setting a tone of reference that we call the traditions of the old. Chapter number four, starting from verse 18. But I will not have you in your prayer, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow, not even as others, which have no hope. For if you believe that Jesus died in your name, even so, they also receive Jesus from God for the For this, the same to you by the word of the Lord, that we which, were, we, we which are alive and remain on the word of the Lord shall not prevent them which are saved. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught all together with them in the house to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord, the last of us. Wherefore, one from one another will be friends. This is what the Lord Pastor Adebowale's life story was recounted not merely as a biography, but as a testament to the journey marked by unwavering faith, a journey that left an indemnable mark on the community he served with such fervor. Uh, well, uh, 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 Now, how did I meet 
is an annual day. Well, the first meeting was, well, as a day long. That was okay, I mean, it's quite good as a day long. But what do you make with it more memorable to me? And as a meeting with him, was really because when I was vice president. As we expected, we had a number of projects that were advertised and people were applying. And by the number of projects, in his own time, we had a plan. But what was significant about him was that he was not the type of person we call to do an app. I don't know if they had a of No. The moment was not even the duties. But when he came in, what the press here was in, but the number of projects is a big one, I can say, of the day. It was an embodiment of integrity. <laughs> Why do you do some of the project will be coming to that number of periods of the different point? I think what you would want to do is that he has implemented this project with the aid and the family. And he thought that he should help me as he said, no, I want to tell him. There were no other appropriate that he helped me at my job. My job is to be a conscious of him that he was able to give me an important advice that he could tell me. And this was so cool. What asked for help me? Car administration was more than a tribute, it was a manifestation of the soul's yearning to connect with the divine, their voices lifted in harmonious unison, waving a tapestry of sound that seemed to ascend to the heavens. The sermon that followed was a homely step in wisdom of the ages, 
reminding all present that in the importance of living a life of virtue, a good work, and leaving a legacy that will stand in the test of time. You are sick. Is it Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27? Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. As it is appointed unto men, God to die then after this, the judgment. He has decided the pain and has declared us to say that the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 11, verse 11. Jesus said, of all men, one of women, there was not greater than John the Baptist. Yes, John the Baptist died. God will help us in Jesus. Name. The wise will die. The foolish will also die. The one who writes for what's the last pick in this life we see the question is, after that, what works next? To everyone, the way I see life, death is not an issue. Because the wise men say, whatever you cannot conquer, you must know how to make the best of it. So death is not an issue. After death, that's the key concern. The Lord will help us with the devil. Bible tells us. Death, which is everybody, comes the judgment. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10 tells us that we must all appear before the judgment seat of God. Every one of us, great or small, whether it is. Or see the the whole world for itself or not. He the richest of the poorest. The most unwanted in society or the most celebrated in every garden. We shall not appear before the Lord blessing of God. Oh, I'm not gonna 
na minha vida. We are going to give account. Ao dia. Today we are telling of the good works that Pastor Samuel Adebowale has done in his lifetime. Lo me anso awon dara dara ti olusu aduta Samuel Adebowale ti se igbaye. If he had wanted to do more. Ti won ba se ni pressi lati se si he gave his souls. O ti ba ti ti nkan. Prayers were offered, echoing the ancient calls of solace and comfort. Now we are going to pray for them. That God of every being, the Lord and the Father to them. The rest of their lives, they shall tell God, the Father, this is your daughter, this is your children, every one of them, Father. Be offered to them to have, be father to them for the rest of their lives. Among those who spoke was Pastor Adebowale's brother, Mr. Timi Adebowale, whose word carried the weight of history itself. He recalled how his brother's generosity and altered the course of his life, a story that would pass down from generation to generation. His voice filled with a profound gratitude that could only show a gift could be inspired. So I'm going to give thanks to God for God of healing and thanks to the living presenting to God for opposing us and for giving us brothers in their own self. Many of them told me and to me who was in the end and many of them many of them are the only two people in the world the same father and the same mother. And my we were close together. Even though he was three years older than me, people didn't realize it because we were very close together. And this was something about the fact that I called him my name, which wasn't the practice. People from the same family would come to our house and say, Yes, it does me. I think we can pray for the whole world. Would you pray for that? And that's when we were very close. And then they loved me. And the highest way of showing this love, materially, emotionally, in all ways, it is by the grace of God and my brother's love that I was able to travel to Oxford to study. I didn't have a good scholarship. I didn't have a good scholarship. My brother was a scholarship. He had another opportunity to show his love to me. When my daughter came to live with me to school in Nigeria, my sister in law and my brother, they did more than my wife and I did. How many of you have been with me? What do you have found? As an audio in my I want to thank you all for being here for us, for being here for you. On behalf of the family, Mr. Timi Adebowale expressed deep thanks to the overwhelming support for the community, a community that stood by them, as communities have done since their memorials in their hours of need. The choir's final aim was a fitting end of the service. A recessional that left a sense of peace, as if the very air had been cleansed by the voices.
At the gravesite, the service continued with a solemn hymn and a brief exhortation, reminding all of the entire nature of Pastor Adepowale's legacy. The internment was a moment that would be remembered as his earthly form was laid to rest, surrounded by prayers that seemed to carry a very essence of those gathered. Oh, be Sleep until thy rest. We thank thy head upon the Savior's breast. We love thee well, for Jesus loves thee best. Good night, good night, good night. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their work. Follow them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Very briefly, I want to speak to us on you and your works. Beloved brethren, this is the last bus stop. No matter how close we are to that the Adeboali, this is the very last bus stop we can follow him. But there is just one thing that cannot be separated from him. That is his works. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the reason why before this junction where we are now, we must at every day check our works with our neighbors, with the Almighty God who has the right to kill and make alive. I'm only summarizing what we've been hearing from yesterday. We don't own our time. That is lying down there. It doesn't matter how much they purchase this casket. It's not what determines where he's going. It doesn't matter the money they are paid for the ambulance. It has only to do with where he's going. Where he's going has been determined by him while he was still alive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we buy a coffee that is placed with ROIP, it is not what determines where that fellow is going. Where that fellow is going is determined by the works done why he has the right to determine whether to do good or bad. That the Debo Ali has slept since on the 17th of June. He has been in the mortuary. Just the way his remnant is inside his coffin, what was keeping him before now is what we have there. That the Debo Ali was the husband, that was a father, that was a pastor, as God since on the 17th of June. Praise the Lord. So it is important that we examine ourselves every day because it is clearly written to us that the way is very narrow. No matter how much is the account, there is no cobble that is going with daddy right now. As a matter of fact, I'm not preaching to him. I'm preaching to we that are still standing upon the hill that can still change our mind from whatever we have been doing that we have been privileged to know that this is not taking us to where God is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 to 15, that books will be open, and another book will be open. And that is the book where our name will be found before we reign with Christ in his kingdom. No matter how much we have spent in entertainment since yesterday, it has nothing to do with the daddy that's lying down here. The only thing he needs that cannot be separated is the works. And that brings me to the question of what works are we doing in our closet? Because everybody is a Christian in the church. I always tell people that are close to me that your Christianity is the life you live in a sacred place where nobody can see you. Where that the Adebole is right now, me and you, we don't know. But the only thing that we determine is the works. That is why I want to encourage every one of us, no matter the position, no matter the position, we must know that a day we come, our eyes will be closed. Because this price, everybody must pay it. The rich will pay, the poor will pay. We don't know when the time will come, when we'll be paying our own. One can sleep and will not wake up. One can be back on a journey and don't come back. But what is important is where are you going to end? The Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to bow down our head in a minute. Let's tell the Almighty God, if my work has not been satisfactory, please give me another opportunity. As those in attendance reflected on the life of Pastor Adebowale, they spoke of him as a great warrior, a man who had fought the good fight, 
who is now resting in the arm of the Almighty God. His words on legacy, on the importance on ending well, echoed in the minds of many, a reminder that life is a journey and how one finishes is as important as how you begin. In his last words, I, a fought the good fight of fate, now belong to the ages as part of tapestry of his life that would be remembered and cherished by generations. And so, as the sun set on this day, Pastor Samuel Adebowale Adelaja was laid to rest. His legacy now is a part of the history of his people. His memory will continue to live on, not just in the hearts of those who knew him, but in the stories that were told, and in the stories that inspired and guided the future generation as they seek to live lives of faith, love, and service. is in position of a daddy to me so his daddy actually raised me and then you know the those days when there was no mobile phone i can just walk up to him anytime i'll go to his office and i'll ask for money even without asking him for money he will give me money he's always giving me money he's giving me he's giving my mother there is no day i you know walk up to him on his office he's just going to give me and I will meet my own mother there. He will give me, he will give my mother. That was in my University of Affairs days. You know those days as a student. Unannounced, I will just come to his office. Without asking him any money, he, he will just give me money. He's always very busy. So he's more or less my daddy. He's everything to me. Actually, when he passed, I I just I was about leaving the country and then I had to you know get a leave from my workplace because even if I don't 
attend any other person's burial. I just have to be here. So I had to come back. So I came back. Here I am. My name is uh, Tolu Uwaje. I pray that the, the Lord will comfort the family. And, uh, you know, the person that passed on was my first cousin and uh, my brother. I lived with him for four years, you know, and um, he was such a kind, loving person. He was an angel, really. Very kind, lovely man. And, um, well, I know that all the work and the legacy that he has left, we continue to live after him. And um, God will comfort the family and all the good works that he has done, the entire family will reap it to the praise of God's glory. We were classmates of over um, 52 years. Yeah, he lost his brother. That uh, we are doing the burial today and he came from UK. And he has invited us all to come and join him to do the ceremony. I don't know the deceased, but I know Timmy very well. As an active member of our association, Olusi College 6973 Settled Student Association. And then Timmy has been an active member. He, he is relentless. So there's no how he will invite us that we will not come to honor him for the burial. I will categorically say that what I saw today in the church was fantastic. It was a testimonial of who the late Adebo Wale was and who the family has. As many as people that attended, none was denied the program and the food that was passed. It went round and there were even more left. Despite the fact that we have over 1,000 people in attendance. So that will tell you the type of family they are. I'd like to introduce to someone's mama. Yeah, my name is Abisola Shiwani Ayeni. Molusi College 6973 Set O Student Association. My college number is 2229. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm Femi a classmate of Lance Timmy Boali. <coughs> really, I would say they should give thanks to God because the father sleeps well. Yes. There's no, there's no problem of carrying him here and there before he left. So they should just give thanks to God and take heart because the father has left a, something for them to follow. So they should follow that. My name is Adebayo Odeni, doctor and currently the global president of Molusi College O Student Association. I got into the Adebayo family through a classmate, the younger brother of the disease, and that is uh, Lance Timmy Adebayo. And um, we were together for about four years. So in the course of that, we came to know the brother, a very, very lovable man, and very nice. Death is inevitable. So I just want to say that um, God will be their support. God will continue to be with them. Uh, the man that died is almost somebody will say irrepla irreplaceable. But then we need to forge ahead. He has gone to higher ground. We will struggle to be there. So I I want to I want to condole the family and ask them to be strong and hope that God will continue to guide them. My name is Le Shorter. I'm a classmate of uh, the younger brother of uh, the deceased Major Ade Bohale. I never met him, but Lance and I are very close and we talk a lot, even though he's abroad and I'm in Nigeria. He talks a lot about his brother, seems to be very fond of him. And um, what I deduce is that he was a good, older brother. 
but uh, he was also a good guardian, even when the appearance were no more. He was available and he was on ground, and he took good care of him, you know. And that they were very good friends from the way he talked to me. I think uh, some of his friends, he inherited, Nancy's friends, he inherited from his uh, elder brother, you know. Well, uh, he can always only wish that uh, God will fill the vacuum that has been created for the family and that uh, um, the grace of God will be with them, his strength will be with them, and uh, it will be well with them. Maybe I can now use this opportunity to say that uh, actually the Boale family and my family, the Shorter family, we're actually from the same homestead. Our family house is called Ilela, which is their own family now, in the same environment. So I know that if we are not relatives, we are then kinsmen. I am Reverend Dr. Shola Ogumanjo. I'm the Global Secretary General of Mukosa. In fact, I was Secretary of my set for 17 years. So I know everybody in this set, in this uh, family, inside out. Ade Ale, we used to call him, his nickname is Lance, but his real name is Timmy Ade Ale. We were together in school for three years because he joined us in Form 3. And uh, he's a jolly good fellow. Uh, he's a watchmate. You know, he, he he writes very well. I love him. And uh, apart from that, I later discovered, after we have left school, that he has gone into ministry that he's a pastor. So every Sunday, he writes messages, uh, scriptural messages into the social media. And uh, because I'm a pastor myself, we we were there together very well. And um, I want to say that uh, it's a blessing to me. And uh, I like him. And uh, because of the love I have for him, I decided to attend this program all the way from Ota. So, and uh, I'm happy that I made it. Because yesterday, it was 50 years since I saw him last. 50 years. So it's a great reunion and uh, it will last a long time, a long while. And uh, our, our, our reunion has made uh, our friendship stronger. Well, my condolence message is that, you know, when we got the message of the passing of his senior brother, uh, I was moved so much because the way he announced it, you will know that the man was very dear to him. And uh, whatever is dear to him is dear to us. So we have to empathize with him and uh, identify with him. You see, the Bible says, rejoice with those who are rejoicing and mourn with those who are mourning. But thank God today we are not mourning. Because the, the elder brother who has uh, passed on has accomplished. He's an accomplished man. He has a family with uh, well to do children, and he's a quantity surveyor, and he was a pastor when he was here. So we don't have any cause to regret. Because it was time for him to go, and God took him. I'm Princess Olubumi or Denny of 6973 set and a set and with the you know brother of the disease and currently I'm the chairperson of the whole set the wife of the disease happens to be my cousin by proxy and my prayer for them is that God in his infinite mercy will continue to guide and protect them and they will never regret that they didn't have a father Anytime they want to lament, God will appear to them. And I pray that they will leave an indelible mark 
that even more than their father. I am. It's important. Royal Majesty, over that children, I've been born a Jibola. I look me by designate. A disease. I wish him rest in peace. He's a very good man. Now he has walked down his life. He may die at the ripe age, very young, because seventy something is very young. I hope he has lived hundred, but just God wish him one more. So all the same, he has lived a very good life. He is an uncle to my princess. So and uh, I really like him. People talk well of him. I wish him long life. I wish him a eternity, peace, while he sleeps on. My name is Wale Ogudim. I know Mayor Lady Sis briefly before I left this country in 1976. But to me, his younger brother happened to be my friend and he's married to my niece. And I remember when he came to visit me, he saw my niece, he likes my niece, he touched like my niece, and I have to do wuru wuru wuru. Today, they are 41 years in marriage. That's why I thank God he gave a home to my niece, he gave a Christian life to my niece. So that one alone is a joy for me. I never had a family from Ijebu Ode. They are very good family. May the soul of the pattern rest in peace. Ojoaji Nosira, Nijo Eyegbogowa, one of the one minister less for one. I'm engineer, you can accurate it. From MX Engineering. Well, I just commit them to God's hand that God will continue to keep them. And even us, you know, the disease happens to be like a father to me. We share the same office and uh, we will surely miss him. He's a very wonderful, jovial, interesting person. But we thank God for his life. It sure has been a blissful moment at the funeral service, internment and reception of Pastor Samuel Adelaja Adepowale. It's a time of emotion, a time to look back at a good deed and legacy. Broadcasting live from Ibadan. Do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. I am on Notunde Deborah, reporting for Echo Audio.